Hi, I'm Dane Unigard, president and team leader of Unigard Property Group with Keller Williams Eastside and the host of The COVID Shift. And I'm here with my good friend, Andrea Roscoe. I've known her, Andrea for many years. She uh, has been a personal trainer for quite a while. And we brought her in today to discuss what it's been like to go through being a personal trainer during COVID. Why don't you explain your business to me, like what you were doing before COVID, okay. and then, uh, you know, like how, like once this thing hit, which was probably about almost exactly a year ago when like they shut us like down, Everything center, down. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then like what happened from there on out? So before COVID, I was running two apartment complex gyms, one in Bellevue and one in Sammamish. Okay. And I was running the entire gym, remodeled one of the two locations and was running classes for the residents, training residents, doing special events, snowshoeing, hiking events, and then also training all my clients that didn't also live there. Cool. Um, and then COVID hit and luckily I had already had a good scheduling system to use for my clients between the two locations. So that wasn't a unknown thing that everybody also had to get used to, but I pivot everybody onto Zoom and we just, everybody had grace with us on this and we knew it was a new thing for everyone. And everybody was in a learning experience and a learning curve, um, working through a screen and with getting everybody at least a set of dumbbells, everybody was able to at least have that for a class and then using body weight and a small space in their living room, no bigger than this room, uh, to do the workouts. And I also had trained all my one-on-one -on -one sessions through Zoom as well. So most of them, we were able to order over the last year a little bit more equipment than a set of dumbbells so that they have home gyms now um, to train in. But yeah, it was pretty crazy. I'm really grateful that we you know, jumped on it right away and yeah. was able to keep everybody safe and healthy during the crazy time we were in. Absolutely. I mean, like fitness, when you are like at home, not able, I mean, going for a walk was difficult. Right. When we first started, like you're trying to stay apart. The hiking trails are closed. There's 50 people on the street trying to do the same thing. Just get outside and do something. Yes. And you're actually providing a solution for the people like that a lot of us like fell apart and like I've lost a crazy amount of weight during this period of time just because I was inactive. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely one of those things where I, I've i been doing this for a long time and I also genuinely care about and believe in what I do and that health and fitness is imperative in your life. Um, if you aren't healthy, you're, you're not going to be able to give 100% of yourself in any other area of your life. And because I believe in that so much to my core, it wasn't hard for me to understand that we've got to figure out something mm -hmm. to take care of everyone and keep everybody healthy and also safe. But we just did it on Zoom instead. And so luckily it worked out really well after we got the kinks out after a few weeks. And um, now we're able to have hit classes, strength training classes. And recently I've added even a yoga instructor for yoga classes to the mix. So I'm able to work with clients that I used to work with in Portland and Enumclaw and, you know, friends that live in other states. So demographics change drastically to what I have access to working with and people, you know, that I have access to working with in, air, in the area is so much further than just who's in front of me and in my neighborhood. Right. So, it almost sounds like a better business now than what it was. It's pretty crazy. I mean, how well it works, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's live. Every class is live. So you're still getting your coaching. You're still getting um, help with your form. You're still watching the instructor on how to do the exercises. Everything's timed. Um, we're helping modify things for clients in the moment if they have something going on or they'll let us know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have a little bit of music on in the background to keep the energy up and they're 45 minute long classes. So it's not too much of a commitment for people, mm -hmm. but yeah, you can be on a vacation and then take your class for 45 minutes and then go back to your life or be nowhere near where I live and interact with and take my classes. So Totally. It's been really, really incredible, actually, in that way. A level of flexibility I've never had in all the years I've been in the fitness industry. So, And why don't you actually talk about the technology that you, like the, the amount of uh, resources and things that you put in your technology? Because when we spoke last, you're kind of going through, like, like, passionately going through everything that you put into this website that you kind of built out. Do you, right. you care to elaborate on that? So the Zoom classes obviously requires everybody to have a Zoom account of some sort. Obviously I have a paying Zoom subscription. 
I have an acuity scheduling system for separating the classes all with Zoom links so that whenever somebody signs up for a class, they get an email link so that the day of the class, they get notifications an hour and 30 minutes before the class starts. And then also they have the link to get into the class where they end up in a waiting room and then we, we let them into the class when it's time. Sure. Um, we have the music going so that no one has to worry about that part of it. Classes are muted for everybody else. There's not background noise um, interrupting the rest of the group. And then I have lights that I set up for so the lighting's better. Um, I do it from my living room. So we use the couch, the table, a chair from the kitchen, dining room tables, um, the floor, a mat, a set of dumbbells. I mean, most people just have the mat, their body, and a set of dumbbells. And it works. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. So fitbyroscoe.com is Andrea's website. And uh, me and Andrea have known each other for 15, no, 20, Ooh, 20 years, 20 plus years. Yeah. So, um, you know, when we actually got together for lunch and just sat down and she was, you were going over like all the ins and outs of like putting together your website, all the time and effort and energy of like getting the right clips together for like a particular workout. And this is all cataloged online, right? Yes. Yeah. So if you just go to fitbyroscoe.com, you can access all this content for a pretty minimal charge free. it's free it's free wow okay so i don't i don't think it was last time we were speaking yeah. yeah so that's awesome so now you can go and basically teach yourself how to do exercises whether you're a beginner or whether you just need a refresher and it's funny because i've been in like I, I used to manage health clubs when i was younger i've always kind of been in and out of the gym world myself right. and always been somewhat active I realized like two or three years ago that I knew nothing <laughs> about like how to work out properly in the modern world. Like everything that you learned in, you know, 2002 does not apply to right. 2021. Right. And so, you know, I, I am going to tell you at home right now, go check this out <laughs> and learn, learn how to like properly do an exercise again, because it's not the same form that you were using a long time ago. Now, all you younger people can calm down. I know you. <laughs> I know you got. I know you got it handled. But uh, well, and there's there's a lot more than just workout content. I mean, there's yes, the exercise tutorials, and there's every exercise you can think of with coaching cues and visuals of how to do things with correct form. But there's also nutritional guidelines and recipes and workout programs to follow and stretches and foam rolling and trigger point therapy and workouts of the week and just if you want to pick a leg workout there's a selection of leg workouts to choose for the day i mean there's just so much content on there it's just such an incredible resource tool from all the years of me training i try to make the best case scenario to help people without having me with them right which is crazy that you had the foresight to build this out prior to COVID happening yeah that is weird that and, that part's kind of crazy looking back and like we, and they're almost lucky like whether or not you know it like it was what gave you like it seems like your classes were kind of what boomed during this period but totally. now you have this all set up and it's like where are you trying to drive this in the future i mean i definitely want to keep working with the classes and getting the classes more noticed and um, helping more people in that regard because i just think it's such an incredible way of getting your work out in and getting educated by top professionals in the industry um, for a lot less than, you know, one-on-one -on -one training costs, sure. but also, you know, it adds a group. Yeah. And it adds a group dynamic. It. You could be yeah. anywhere to join. Um, so you're not stuck in the area of demographic that you live in mm -hmm. to get good classes or different types of classes. Um, yeah, there's a total community feel to it. I've always been one to bring people together and allow everyone to get to know each other and feel like they have this sense of community and that everyone belongs mm -hmm. and that you're getting empowered you know, every day working with my company to better educate yourself and learn how to do things correctly so that you feel like you belong in the gym as much as everybody else does. Right. And so that's like a big deal with like the website, the classes, and obviously one-on-one -on -one training that's always been important, but this direction with more access to more people to be able to help more people feel that way and be that way, that's kind of been the shift for the changes with like online stuff. Right.
essentially you were deemed unessential. Right. Which I know, obviously, that we are very essential, especially during stressful times, sitting at home, not moving more than ever before. Okay. Um, I actually didn't hesitate when everything closed down or started sounding like it was getting in bad. I went to every single Marshalls, Dick's Morning Goods on Amazon, got as much equipment as I could, and I dropped everything off to each client and boot camp class person's house so that everybody at least had a set of dumbbells to be able to do classes and training sessions. And I pivoted everything on this Zoom. And everybody was on board. Everybody was willing to try something different and do whatever they could to stay healthy and sane during this crazy process. And yeah, the classes in the beginning were rough, you know, as we figured things out. But um, within a few weeks, we figured everybody got it figured out. So kept everybody safe and healthy during COVID. Which is key. It Huge, was, yeah. I lost 20 pounds of yeah, right. muscle. <laughs> right. It's a big deal, so yeah. I think um, being able to just go for it right away without hesitation and not wait for other people or saving grace from money or unemployment and, and just putting my clients first and taking care of them in a crazy time has paid off now since then. And we're still doing all the classes on Zoom, um, strength training classes, hit classes, and I've actually added a yoga instructor recently to the schedule super cool and uh, about 75% of my clients are back in person and then the other are still on Zoom. I built them home gyms and they figured why ever leave their house for that stuff so it's actually worked out really well and it's given me some flexibility that I haven't had 14 years of my career so. So one question uh, is like with COVID impacting you know every industry how do you feel that it impacted yours the fitness industry? Well, a lot of the problem at first was obviously not realizing that fitness is essential or not understanding or knowing how to adjust things to make it work still with the masks and cleanliness and sanitizing things and everything else. I think all the gyms weren't necessarily prepared for that level of sanitation, that level of airflow and everything else, but also just lack of movement, lack of being able to work with your clients if you weren't in a gym training clients like you normally would be able to because it wasn't allowed for a long time um, and not being able to take them somewhere else or having a place to work with them was hard for people. I think not being able to have your clients with you and having to do anything through a screen was very awkward, was very um, unknown and different for a lot of yeah. people. And so I think now after even you know the first six months of the pandemic and even up until now i think there's going to be a lot of there's been a lot of growth in live and online workouts and classes and programs um, a lot of companies popping up 